That's all a byproduct of you being a producer, being the honeybee, you working so hard on your mission to become your best version financially, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. It's not just about the money, because if you only chase the money without purpose or intention, you will self-sabotage, you will fail, you will fall victim to the things that come with that. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody is doing well. I want to give you guys a great analogy that helped me beat my procrastination and give me a little bit of clear insight on becoming my better version and doing better at life on all levels. And it brought me a good amount of abundance when I got to be able to understand it in the correct manner. So I heard this saying a long time ago, be a money bee like a honey bee. And the analogy behind this, so just take a minute, I don't want you to think that it's something greedy because there's a lot of bad information out there that's brainwashed a lot of us. A lot of us know from TV, from movies, from comic books that the villain is always some bad business guy that's always in this huge house, a bunch of different places, a bunch of different cars and flashy stuff that's always just trying to take, take, take from everybody, trying to do some harm, try to overrun companies, banks, governments, take over something and never give anything back. And a lot of us come from backgrounds of parents and grandparents from generations and communities with different demographics where the higher upper class and middle class has such a big gap that they hate the rich because that they think that it's their fault that the poor are where they are and they don't have what they don't have because of the people at the top. So how do we all survive? How do we all live? It's through oxygen. We all breathe oxygen. And when we inhale oxygen, we breathe out carbon dioxide, which is poison, which kills everything around us. It destroys the earth. If you were to, you know, put a cover over your head for long enough, you would die by your own poison coming out of your lungs. So how does that oxygen produce itself? It's from trees, it's from plants, it's from the natural life that's out there. And this, 90% of it, is produced by insects, bees, birds that go from tree to tree, plant to plant, doing their job and spreading that seed. So the honeybee, which is just obsessed with making honey, that goes back and forth from the hive to the plants to the hive to the plants, its byproduct of its mission is that everything in between there gets flourished with more seed and more life grows. And it gives life to all the animals and all the plants and all the ecosystem that's around it. So the th same thing can be applied to us in our lives. If you can be able to pursue something with intention, with purpose, and with passion, and be a producer, you will do so good to the environment and the ecosystem around you the people in your life, the people you care about, the people in your ecosystem, and people and strangers that you don't even know will flourish because of your production, because of your mission. And in this life, when you're a producer like that, you also produce better life for everybody around you because you employ people, you hire people, you need help with your business, with your taxes, with your homes, with your vehicles, with your travels, your booking places, tutors, mentors, sports coaches for the children and your family. <clears throat> you can give people loans, help them be able to open up businesses that employ more people. So being an investor is not a negative thing. It's not an evil thing. By having money and starting up multiple businesses and people will say, well, why is that guy getting such a big tax cut? He's giving people jobs. He's producing. He's taking a risk. He's the one who's sitting there saving, working, putting in that overtime, that extra time, disciplined away from TV, from party, from drugs, whatever the stuff is that, that most people fall victim to, to be able to create that endeavor, to be able to make that thing a success. And the person that just does the nine to five will say to themselves, these are the bad people. These are the bad people. Success is bad because all they want to do is get more and more and more and more. But if it wasn't from them at the top, the people at the bottom 
wouldn't have any work to do because they're usually the ones working for them at the top. If everything was left to a government to take care of everybody in a socialist or communist system, we all know what that would be and everybody would be begging to go back into a capitalist system. So if you can think of yourself like the honeybee and be the money bee with purpose, with passion, with intention, everything around you will flourish. And in this life, when things go bad and people's backs are really against the wall, except for the loss of a loved one, which death is unfortunately just part of the cycle of life, people need money. People need money. It's either for medicine or for debt or some sort of a, you know tragedy that came through the environment of the workplace or a mistake made by a couple and a breakup and a marriage. These are the times that people need those producers to be able to help them. When people reach out to you, it's great to be kind and listen to them and give them a hug. But if you can be the honeybee, meaning that you were always a producer and through that process of you being able to reach that level and go through that process and that journey, you've gone through those obstacles, you've gone through those stresses and figured out ways to be able to stay up and be your best version when you had your tragedies, when you had your problems and you didn't regress to self-sabotage. So you will have the wisdom, you will have the knowledge to give them the answers to show them, hey, this is how I got through hard times. This is an exact blueprint of what you can do to also not go backwards in life because this happened. And if need be, you can also be able to help them. You also have the cash flow, you have the network, you have the means, you have the time, you have the health mentally and physically to be able to assist these people and help them level up their life. And that's all a byproduct of you being a producer, being the honeybee, you working so hard on your mission to become your best version financially, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. It's not just about the money, because if you only chase the money without purpose or intention, you will self-sabotage, you will fail, you will fall victim to the things that come with that. So I hope this can give you guys some insight to be able to, you know, kick into that last gear sometimes when it gets rough and it gets tough and people get this mentality of just, you know, why am I working so hard? I'm never going to get this time back. I should just enjoy life right now and just get by through the minimum. You know, I know a lot of people that did that for a long time and suffered tremendously at the end. They budgeted their life for their means as it was. <clears throat> this is what food costs. This is what the bills cost. This is how much a trip or two of the year will cost. And this is how much it costs for us to have our leisure and our social life. And unfortunately, because of inflation and economic crises and family crises and health reasons, those ends were not being able to be met anymore. And they needed to reach out to people. And who are the people that they're reaching out to? They're reaching out to the honeybee, to the money bee. They're not reaching out to the people at their level or below them that can only give them a hug and say, oh, you're a good person. Stay strong. Time will heal everything. That doesn't work. <clears throat> it's good to be able to have support, but it's good to be able to have support with the knowledge, with the experience, with the direction, and also to be able to actually help somebody get through that situation. So I hope this can clear up some of the negative, you know, affiliations people have out there. I coach a lot of people and in the consultation or within the first few weeks of coaching people, no matter what their goal is, <clears throat> I ask them about their work, I ask them about their career, I ask them about their future, I ask them about their investments and their plans to see where their head is at because then I can understand, depending on what their goal is with me, how much insight they have into time and also effort and I can understand how difficult it will be for them to be able to achieve their goal or how much easier it will be. And a lot of the times people, and they don't have any bad intention by this, could be because that's how they were raised, could be because they believe that that's all they need, will say things like, well, I don't really care too much about money. I like my job and it pays the bills and you know, we live a good life and, and that's all I care about. 
when you don't think about things, they don't think about you. When you don't care for things, they won't care for you. You know, if you were dating somebody and everybody around you kept telling you, you know, that person that you're dating keeps saying that they don't care anything about you. They don't care whether you're there or not there. And that was their mentality towards you. For the most part, I would hope you guys would step away from somebody like that. You would walk away from them because it's disrespectful that they would say that they don't care about you, that you mean nothing to them. And that's how it goes with finances. That's how it goes with health. When people say, like, I don't really think about it. What's your life like? What's your food like? What's your sleep like? What's your exercise like? And people will say, I don't really think about it. Well, there's going to come a point where your health doesn't think about you. And same thing with your finances. When people say, I'm, I'm not really worried about that. I'm not really thinking about where I'm going to be in 10 years or 15 years or 20 years. That time's going to come and everything that you're going to want at that time is not going to care about you because you didn't pay attention to it. So I hope this analogy can help you guys. If you have any questions or want to reach out for consultation or coaching inquiries, all my information is in the bio. You can DM me or give me an email. Stay good to yourself. Stay true to yourself. Let nothing and nobody get in the way of the life that you want to live. And don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, support the channel. Take care.